You're gonna need the energy to deliver all those toys, Santa. Merry Christmas. He is real. What is going on guys? Will here, welcome to the video. It's the most wonderful time of the year. I can see it in the air, I can smell it in the air. It's Christmas, my favorite holiday season. You know, not many things remind me of being a little boy, but Christmas is one of them. I just think of gingerbreads, I think about that old man sneaking into my house. I think of hot chocolate, I just, I love that warm brown juice. So in honor of that, we are gonna celebrate with what I know best and that is food. So for the next 24 hours, I am only gonna be eating Christmas themed or Christmas style food. So with that said, let's get into meal number one. So one of my favorite movies is The Grinch. I would sit and watch as a little boy and wonder, how does he taste? So we're making some Grinch protein pancakes, specifically the fuel cakes by Rob Lipset. And we're gonna start this food review by just the packaging. Like look, it gives me like this retro rare vibe. Like I went to a comic book store, picked it up, and it's like one that's like a one in a million that get all the nerds off, you know? So for that reason, I'm gonna respect the packaging for all you collectibles out there. And then on top, we're gonna add some gingerbread man. We're gonna add some sprinkles, some other sort of powders. We got some green dye to make it grinchified. Got some Greek yogurt, AKA the anabolic snow today. And then we got some Blue Star Nutraceuticals protein, white chocolate candy cane flavored, 10 10, 10% off. So let's get cooking. All right, so just like me, Rob Lipset has an obnoxious appetite. So I have high expectations in terms of volume for the calories. So. 100 grams is 298 calories. So we're gonna see how much that makes. I know this is a Christmas video, but I feel like I'm like hosting a St. Patrick's Day kegger with like the pancakes. But these look done, they look girthy and ready to go. This is as festive as it gets. So, I've had protein pancakes from a box in the past and usually after I eat it, my thought process is like, I may as well have eaten a cabinet. So, I have high hopes for these ones. And just like Pablo Escobar's quality control routine, I'm just gonna go straight up before I add anything else to it. So, here we go. It embraces my knife like a buttermilk pancake. Kind of looks like a matcha situation. I'm trying to chew it all up before I make my assessment. It's quite brilliant. Wow. Is Aunt Jemima on that box? No, I love that woman. It's really good. Now let's add a little bit more to the party here. Got some white chocolate candy cane Greek yogurt. Let's throw one of these men on it. Rob, you outdid yourself, man. Great job. The more I'm tearing away at these things, the more they actually look like, like unicorn vomit. Like the sprinkles are like melting into the Greek yogurt. It's like if Starbucks made pancakes. But I mean, if you want your kids to eat healthy, just dye the food. It works. Ten out of ten. I feel like I was at IHOP the whole time. The Grinch tasted like everything I expected him to taste like. So. That was a pre-workout meal. We're gonna be heading to the gym shortly to get a workout in with Ronaldo. All right, so it might look like the beginning of like the most epic holiday porno you've ever seen, but we're actually just gonna be training chess. So I'm here with Ronaldo, AKA Santa, the most anabolic Santa I've ever seen in my life. Like forget the belly, man. You're not going down the chimney with those delts. And this is not spandex. Like he like fills this out. I got this on Amazon. It's 4XL and it's just like insane. So we're gonna train some chess, have a good time. And these things are super hot. It's like, we're gonna be sweating our asses off. It's like. Suede. So, yeah, we're gonna get a sick pump and let's do it. Can't get lifted by now. to leave you a cookie, what, what would be like your favorite cookie where they leave you protein bars? You gotta find a good chocolate chip protein bar, Yeah. and then can't just be milk. You gotta drop some casein in the milk. All right? So you guys got, so you want casein then you're good. protein? Otherwise, casein no protein. present for you. Casein protein yeah. quest bars. Leave that for him. Here we go. Oh 
Oh yeah, she's getting warm right now. Just you can show like, this actually up. shows off the, the upper chest. Quite nice. It's very like breathable too. One rep for every naughty girl. I'm quite excited. So, three sets, 12 to 15. All I can say is ho, oh, ho, oh, ho. Oh. This is what it looks like when it's leg day, when it's chest day. You guys actually don't understand how hot it is right now. How hot are you right now to 10? If I take this off, you'll really know. OnlyFans content, that's not that's not appropriate on YouTube. He's an OnlyFans, link in the description. Check out that Santa Claus. Uh, yep, coming in from a cold day. Ho, ho, ho. You can keep that posture, by the way. Are you into roleplay stuff or no? Oh yeah, the elf has got a pump. Okay, so we've done incline bench, we've done the flies, we did the flat bench. Now we're on to the last exercise. Peck deck fly, three sets, 15 reps. I'm gonna be 10 to 12. 10 to 12? Yeah. Alright. Whatever Santa says. Oh. Alright, is that the work though? Are you calling it? Calling it. Alright, guys. That was a workout with Santa. Thank you, Santa. Was that a good boy? You're naughty. That was a naughty boy? Yeah, that's okay. We got, we got toys for naughty boy too. Well, what are those like? Oh, we'll talk about that later. But yeah, we're gonna go get a post-workout smoothie. See you guys soon. Solid, solid chest workout. So I just did a holiday workout. So naturally for the post-workout meal, you gotta have a big mouthful of Santa's gravy, AKA some eggnog. So we got ourselves an eggnog smoothie from Booster Juice. So you might be thinking, you went to a smoothie joint, you're doing something good for your body. It is healthy, but guys, this is not healthy. So this is 530 calories, nine grams of fat, which isn't too bad, but then it gets pretty naughty here. You're looking at 107 grams of carbs and 95 grams of that is sugar, which is just obscene and then nine grams of protein. So I've never had eggnog before, but I believe it's like cream, egg yolks, sugar, just more cream, more fat, a little bit of nutmeg. And I'm pretty sure there's booze, but just like me, this is of the virgin variety. Oh, you really gotta suck. The nutmeg hits hard and I'm here for it. It's pretty good. Very interesting tasting. I'm walking into anything right now. Wow. I guess we're doing it the old-fashioned way. Oh, there's some banana in there. Okay. Mmm, that is good. I'm not gonna get used to this at all. But I know a lot of people drink a crap load of eggnog during Christmas. You just stay away from this stuff. Just everything in moderation. I wanna know in the comments, what is your favorite Christmas food? Do you like gingerbread? Do you like, like the fancy lattes from Starbucks? Do you like eggnog? What is it? Comment down below. I would say I am just a big gingerbread man. I love anything gingerbread. That is, gingerbread's the goat. So let me know. It was good, it was unique, it was different. Something different I put in my mouth. 
So yeah, that was the post-workout smoothie. Was it worth 530 calories? God no, but I'm gonna be heading home now to do a taste test with my mom with something pretty special that's gonna be at my front door. All right, so I just got home and I had a wonderful little box of treats waiting for me at the front door and they are some mochi muffins by the Good Goods Bakery. Look, they even tried to draw me. Pretty accurate, I'd say. And take a look at these. Like, so this is the Christmas box. So a bunch of different Christmas flavors that are listed up here. They look unreal. And then on this over here, the exact same sort of thing, just a little bit smaller. So my mom's gonna join me. Mom? Yeah. You ready? I'm ready. All right, let's do it. Good. Okay, so time to do the mochi muffin taste test. So I have had mochi donuts in the past, and if they're anything like that, we are in for a treat. And the fumes that are coming out of this box are just exciting, so we should just get right into it. Like, what does mochi actually mean? I have no idea. Boozy coconut rum? Yeah, I'm caught a little buzz just smelling it. Mmm. So you awesome. like muffins? I do like muffins. Are you a top or bottom gal? T top only. There's a face here. Oh my god. It's not what you expect. It kind of changes in the mouth. But it's kind of like custardy. Yeah, look, look check out the middle. Yeah. Very like eggy and light. Yeah. Ooh, it's probably okay. pretty healthy, I'd like to think. I don't know. <laughs> These are way less dense than a traditional muff. Yes, you say? definitely. It tastes very healthy. It does. Mm -hmm. The fact that we're saying it has it tastes a bit healthy makes you think it doesn't taste quite as good. Yeah. As this one, which tastes way that more one's really desserty. Good. Yeah. Let's let's go a little bit more rich and go with the hot cocoa. Yeah. Look at the inside of that. Okay. If hot chocolate was a muffin, that's what I would expect it to taste like. Mmm. I've never had anything that actually tastes kind of like this. I feel like a kid again. Yeah. I'd really do. You're always you a kid. Know? I, that's true. Yeah. It doesn't look the most appealing, but it sounds the most appealing. Like if you just asked me which one I wanted, I would say lemon gingerbread, because I love lemon yeah. and I love gingerbread. Okay. So I think that we'll go for that one, even though it's not the most appealing. It kind of looks like it's like fossilized one. like butterfly wings on the top. Yeah. We're just a couple little muffin divers today. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. This is the best one so far. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Best one so far. So that just shows you looks can be deceiving. Yeah. Because it was actually the most unattractive one. You go. I think I just picked that one. It's your turn. Okay, so we're gonna go with, let's go with the uh, chocolate candy cane. Yeah. That's like the dessert version of pineapple on pizza. The big debate, wouldn't you say? Really? Yeah, I would say. A lot of people think that this is wrong. Candy cane just like overpowers the hell out of everything though. It just reminds me of an after eight mint. A joy to give, a pleasure to receive. Mm -hmm. Are we gonna like demo this whole box? Of course we are. <laughs> okay. I think Victoria wants one. Well, we're leaving her the scraps. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. I think this one's called Coconut Head. Okay. You wanna do that one? Yeah. By the names of it, it sounds pretty easy to swallow. Mm -hmm. Let's cut this in half. I still want that one tastes pretty plain. It's still good, but I wouldn't yeah. really, you know. You don't want to be bringing that to the party. No, I don't want to be bringing that one to the yeah. party. Yeah. No. Okay, we'll, we'll go back to uh, sugar cookie. Sugar cookie. I think sugar cookie is probably one of my favorite things of Christmas. Really? Yeah, I love I love a good sugar cookie. Well, I feel bad then because I must have really deprived you as a child because I'm the worst baker. You are. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Oh, okay. It just. Oh, I think I have a candle that smells like this. I always associate sugar cookies with older women. Well, then I'm glad that you didn't mention me. Mm. Now let's go with this one. Matcha. This is just plain matcha. I'm assuming it's not gonna be much different than the matcha raspberry. And I think that the raspberry would have knocked it up a bit. It tastes like I just, like I ate the inside of a, like a, a, a lawnmower. Oh, <laughs> like a damn horse. <laughs> but it, it, it is what, what it says it is. Definitely. Definitely, definitely it is what it says it is. Yeah. That one's definitely mind over matcha. Yeah. Now, the last one is gingerbread loaf, and we already know that this one's That's gonna, gonna be, be good. Yeah. Take a look at that. That looks like so. It looks like. It kind of looks like a butter tart in the inside. Yeah, it looks like almost like it's like custard inside. Not too buttery, yo. You could have made me a cup of tea. You could have made me a coffee. All right, so let's rank these in your top three. And okay. then, you wanna go first or me? Well, you go first. If you okay. Think. I'm gonna say it, it was a Cinderella story. I'm gonna say number one was 
the lemon gingerbread because I didn't expect that one to be number one. True. And then we got, and then I go, then we go with gingerbread loaf, and then I go with hot cocoa. That's my top three. Really? Yeah. Wow. Easily. So I'm not exactly sure where I would put those. Maybe the lemon gingerbread first, and then the candy cane, and then the boozy coconut rum. So that Very. was the mochi muffin taste test. Yeah. Try Overall, them. I would, I'd highly recommend you guys give them a shot. Very different. If you're up to switch things up, go for it. So, yeah. yeah. Enjoy. So since it's Christmas, I thought I'd show you guys the Christmas tree. But before I do, I wanted to show you these Tennyson gingerbread cookies. Like, look at this. That's Ollie. Doesn't look identical to him. He probably tastes really, really good. Then we got me. Looks exactly like me. Then you got my mom. We got Victoria. And then we got my dad. That is him. That's my dad. Pretty cool, isn't it? Now over to the tree. Didn't my mom outdo herself? Like, take a look at that. Look at all these beautiful ornaments. And like pretty much 50% of the ornaments are actually Ollie. Like, look, we got mini Ollies there. So we have dog ornaments of our own dog. How, like, it, it doesn't get much more white than that, right? And then we have, I think uh, some of the children are actually on here because I know Ollie is the favorite. Oh, look, here I am. Here's me looking all mischievous and stuff like that. So one picture of Will. And there's about 15 ollies. So that is the Christmas tree. Thought I'd show you guys that. So I'm gonna go back to my condo and make some dinner. Every night is pizza night, as you guys know. So we're not switching it up because you gotta remember where you came from. So we're making pizza tonight with a Christmas flair. So I actually made my own homemade dough here with egg whites, Greek yogurt, a little bit of flour. It actually turned out quite well. Like, take a look at that. It actually looks like pizza dough, under 500 calories for the entire crust. Should I put the recipe? I don't know, let me know. We also got some cheese, of course. We got some fresh sage, because it reminds me of Christmas. Just the smell of this, it just smells like Christmas. We got some turkey for the protein, some Brussels sprouts, it's just Christmas, and my favorite vegetable. We got some gravy as the base, and then some cranberry sauce. Gonna put this all together right now, and that's dinner. Oh, Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, the leaves are so festive pizza parte. Are you excited for this one? Oh. This thing actually turned out incredibly well and I am super stoked to try this. Pizza, it's a state of mind. It could be anything. You can put anything on a pizza and it'll taste good. Like I could have pizza every single day for every single meal for like a month. Cause you could switch it up. Yeah, you can switch it up. Any base that you want, any sauce that you want, any cheese that you want, any toppings that you want. It's just the ultimate food. Like very rarely does cheese get lost in a dish. But I feel like the I feel like the, the mozzarella is a little bit disoriented, doesn't know like really what role to play. Because the gravy is just so rich and overpowering. But that that cranberry sauce just adds this like relief component that I need. What do you think? Do you like the crust? Mm-hmm. Mm, the sage. Did you hit that? I hit that. That sage pocket. So this entire pizza, which is actually quite big. Is it what, a thousand calories for the whole thing? A thousand calories for the whole thing. And this pizza crust I made from like egg whites and Greek yogurt, it actually stays together considering the amount of toppings on here is it's crazy. I'm gonna give this like a, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10, honestly. Why nine? I feel like if I had like maybe some stuffing on it, the gravy could be a little bit better. Well, yeah. But otherwise I, I it's, it's Pretty close to a 10, what about you? I'd say so. Yeah, nine? Or five. Nine or five? Oh, wow. different. The thing about Christmas food is I feel so like warm and wholesome after I eat it. I feel like I have like a warmed belly. Jolly? You know? Yeah, I feel jolly, I feel good. Christmas pizza is where it's at. Highly recommend making one yourself and let me know what you guys think. So all we have left now is dessert and we're gonna do something a little bit different. Just like being blindfolded in the bedroom, I am a big fan of the unknown. And one of the big things of Christmas is opening up a Christmas gift. So me and Katie are at Whole Foods. She's actually in there right now. And we're gonna take turns going in and buying each other a dessert gift. There she is. It's a big, it's a big bag. Okay. You're a big boy. You took a long time. My turn. Oh, hello. I think I took good. I think you're gonna like it. You think so? Yeah, I'm excited. You better not screw me over. <laughs> I might okay, have. Let's go have some dessert. Dessert. 
time. So we actually have no idea. Like, I swear, we actually have no idea of what each other got. You go first? at the same time, no? Oh, sure, sure, sure. I'm just a little bit kinky about this. Okay. I'm judging it based off weight first. And what is it? It's actually quite heavy. Are we looking at the same time? Yeah. Yes! Well, I you know. You know me so well. Isn't that cool? That's pretty cool. I got her some gingerbread ice cream sandwiches. Yeah. She got me the gingerbread halo top. I think this only comes during Christmas, right? Yep, once a year. Oh, this one is sick. It's one of my favorite ones, actually. Save on calories. What is this thing here? Well, I know you've never had pecan pie, so. Oh, peca pecan pie. It's, it's pecan. pecan. Do you Comment say, down below. It, I, I say pecan, don't worry. Pecan. Do you have a, whoever says pecan, just exit out of the video, please. Yeah, so I've actually never had this pie before in my life, and I'm very excited to try it. You said it's kind of like a, a butter tart before? But better. And that's chocolate pecan. Yeah, chocolate pecan, so I, I guess you're not really concerned about my, my macros. Well, that's why I got the Halo Top to offset. Very true. You're, you're the best. And I got her panettone, she's Italian, so it's just a pretty easy thing there. Two plus two. You like panettone? 17, yeah. Yeah. So, how do you think I did? Out of I 10? Think, I think you did like a freaking 10 out of 10. Um, Very thoughtful. Yeah, you too. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> Let's eat. Take a look at that. This just looks incredible and incredibly high calorie. Oh, okay. Oh, that is just delicious. Oh my god, smell that. It does smell good. Can I take a bite of your gift? Yeah, if I can take a bite of yours. Sure. Oh! That has a little orange zest to it. That's a fruit. Panettone is gangster. Have you not had this? I've never had that either. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an ice cream and donut man. I'm pretty simple. A cheesecake here and there. Other than that. Can you switch it up? Yeah. yeah. Got those little gingerbread specks. So what movie are we watching? Love the Coopers. We're watching Love the Coopers. Nice Christmas movie. She loves Christmas movies. It's forced me to get into them. I'm starting to, starting to like them, I would say. I'm trying to change the topic right now. I can see that. All right, guys, so we're going to watch the movie, and we're going to wrap up the video here. Hope you guys have a happy holidays and a Merry Christmas. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.